everyone. I am back. I have something I want to share with you. I purchased this on um, eBay not too long ago and I, I got it in the mail a couple days ago and I'm, I'm delighted um, with it. It was better than the seller described. What we have here is a Victorian era photo album. I'm sorry for the glare. There's nothing I can do about it. It is a it's a plasticky coated album. They called these celluloid. Um, so it's it's like a hard plastic. Um, and they thought that was very cool um, back then, and it was very fashionable to make things from celluloid. However, um, we are now finding that celluloid um, deteriorates um, quite rapidly, really. And it's also extremely flammable. Um, but you can see there is a little bit of damage here. Um, but I think I can, you know, cover that. I can glue this back down um, and cover that and maybe fix some of these cracks. But all in all, it is in extremely good condition. Um, the spine here is a little worn. But it is very intact. And it is very tight very nice tight binding and you don't see this very often on these um, these old photo albums um, it's a little worn as you go around the corner here but the fabric on the back is in really good condition um, it's like a crushed velvet the clasp here no longer locks um, but it at least is still on the book and we have these lovely gold edging or gold edged pages here. So I am going to open this up, um, but I did want you to see how good of shape it was in and how good of shape the binding is in. So look at that. Okay. Um, so I was very excited when I got it in the mail and it was in a lot better shape than I was even expecting. And I'm going to zoom this down so you can see the photos because they're really cool. And that is what I'm going to do with this today with this video is just flip through it and let you get a look at these old photos. Um, from Victorian times and maybe talk a little bit about what my plans are with this book. So I'm thinking um, that I am going to turn this into a journal. I know a lot of you are going to flip out at that thought um, that I might take this old book and do that. Um, but what is the alternative? The alternative is that this book sits on my shelf or sits in an antique store or sits in someone's trunk and just disintegrates because that is what's going to eventually happen to it. Celluloid is, it, it's just, it deteriorates and there's not a whole lot you can do to keep it from doing that um, besides, you know, keeping it in a, you know, a temperature controlled um humidity controlled environment, you know, like a museum. Um, there were lots of these books made, these celluloid photo albums. So they are not a rarity. Um, lovely photographs. All the photographs were in it already. Um, but what I was thinking was, is if I make this into a journal, it's going to be loved and cherished. Um, for the rest of its, you know, lifespan. Now, I am thinking about, and I probably will, um, I have an um, Ancestry.com membership, though I haven't been active on it in a while. Um, and I may get on there, probably will, uh, and try to track down any of the um, descendants of these people. It is from one family. It seems like one to two families. Most of them have um, the last name. Uh, what was it? Douglas. A lot of them have the last name Douglas. So I will try to see if I can get a hold of them first. Unfortunately, oftentimes these items end up in thrift shops and antique stores and for sale on eBay because... Unfortunately, family members don't cherish these things as, as much. Isn't he handsome as can be? Just absolutely handsome. 
think that's all of them back in there. Okay, and then there were a few loose photographs of a little bit more recent history than, than those cabinet cards that are in there. And there were names written on almost all of them, so I may try my hand at being a detective and uh, seeing if I can find any of the descendants of these people. But I thought it was a very cool album and I wanted to share it with you and I will probably try to make it into a journal just so that it is just loved and cherished and, and not stored somewhere where it's just going to continue falling apart for no reason other than just to store some old photographs. So I would, I, that's what I like to do. I like to give old things, um, new life. And I don't think that is, uh, wrong or terrible. I think that it's actually a very beautiful, um, thing to do, to take, to take old items that most people don't pay much of attention to and, um, and make them loved again. So anyway, just thought I would share that with you and um, then I am going to, I'm going to stop this video here and then I've got some more things to show you I'm going to do in another video. So I will be back very, very soon. See you soon. Bye-bye.